Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Techno Buffalo, and in this video we're going to install a solid state drive inside of this ASUS UL30VT. I haven't even turned this on yet, and from the start I want to put in the solid state drive, put Windows 7 back on it, and really start from the beginning, hopefully with not too many ASUS programs, so I can have a really lean and light and fast system. Uh, for this I'm using the Intel X25M solid state drive, it's 80 gigabytes. Solid state drives aren't quite cheap enough yet to where everyone can get them and to where they are included in all the new laptops. They're just not cheap enough yet. Uh, this solid state drive costs $300 on Newegg. They go as low as about $250, although you can get other brands other than Intel for about $150 actually right now. Uh, but the Intel X25M is revered as one of the best values for solid state drives. They're extremely fast. I'm actually running one of these in my desktop computer. And the result of that is that programs open a lot faster, especially programs that I have in hibernation like Photoshop, where my video editing software, the process of transferring data from your hard drive to your RAM uh, is just so much faster when you're running a solid state drive. So let's get started. We're gonna start by turning over the laptop, taking out the old drive, which is actually easy, or at least it should be easy. So let's sort of position it and I'll point the camera downward. So here on the back we have the slot for the uh, hard drive back here, and over here this is where the RAM goes. And so I'm going to take out the battery just so that this device has no power going to it. Let's see, we slide that over, and there we go, battery is out. Just a safety precaution, and we're going to take out these little screws. I have never actually done this process, I've installed a laptop hard drive before, but never a solid state drive. So you're learning along with me here. All right, and I'm gonna lift this up. And in here somewhere is the hard drive, although I wanna be careful not to break anything. Looks like there's a tab here. Uh, let's see. I don't wanna snap anything off. Yep, it just kind of unseats itself very quickly. So this is what the old hard drive looked like, Seagate. 5400 RPM, 500 gigabytes. Let's take a look at the new solid state drive and kind of compare the two. And hopefully this fits right in. They're the same size hard drive, so really it should just plug right in. So here it is. I've already opened it before. Now it's got these brackets on it. I don't know if I need to leave those brackets on. I think I do, because if you actually compare the size, you need the brackets to make it the same size as uh, these standard hard drive. So I should be able to just sort of slide it in. Looks like it goes this way. Be very careful. Okay, I think that'll do it. Uh, it looks like there could be some screws I need to secure. Let me pop that out again. What I'm going to do is actually take out the tray here, because I, I see that it will have some wiggle room if I don't do that, and I don't want it to, to move around. So I'm going to kind of take this off. Okay, and then the old hard drive slides right out. And we are going to put the new hard drive in. And the screw holes line up perfectly, so I'll put all these screws right in. Okay, so we have the solid state drive seated inside of the little tray. So now it should slide in and fit a lot better than before. Sort of move these wires and push it up. There we go. And there it goes. Looks good. Let's put the uh, the lid back on for the hard drive. Okay, and we'll put the battery back in. And then because the ASUS UL30VT doesn't have an optical drive, I'm going to attach an external USB 2.0 uh, drive so that we can get Windows 7 onto this. Okay, now we've got a load on Windows 7, and I've connected an external drive uh, because the ASUS doesn't have a, an optical drive built in, so it's a little bit crude back there, but it works. Now, I'm not going to use, at least right away, um, the Windows 7 recovery disk from ASUS because this will install all of the programs from ASUS. I want to 
squeaky clean installation. So I'm going to try using um, a Windows 7 disk that I've used before. And I'm thinking that it probably won't work uh, because I've already used a license, but perhaps I can get by with using the license on the bottom of the Asus. So this may not be so cut and dry, uh, but we're going to try to see what happens when we load uh, this version up. So let's open up the, open up the laptop. And it's already showing something on the screen that I was trying before. So I'm going to control, delete it, and try to force it to reboot. So I'll do a press and hold of the power button. All right, let's see what happens. Again, I may just have to revert back to the Windows 7 recovery disk from Asus if this doesn't work, which would not be too big of a deal. So hopefully it will boot from the CD, which it is. That's good. Accept the terms. Um, so we're going to go with custom. And this is unallocated space. This is the solid state drive. I'm going to go to drive options. I'm going to format this if I can. Or actually, first I have to create a new partition. I'll use the entire size. Um, Windows might create additional partitions. OK. And system reserved of 100 megabytes. And we're going to format this partition here so we can clean it off and make it ready for uh, for installation. And it looks like it is ready, so I'm going to go to next. And it's doing something, so we'll be back and see if it, uh, if it actually worked. And we're back. That was about 30 minutes, so pretty fast. So I'm going to type my name here. And uh, I think it's going to ask me for a CD key soon. So password. So I'll just type a password. And click on password hint required. So, hint, there we go. Uh, product key, so I'm going to start by typing the product key from the bottom of the ASUS. I don't know if this is going to work because this is the 32-bit that I just installed and the, and the laptop comes with 64-bit. I figure that for what I'm going to be using the laptop for, I really don't need the, the extra benefits of 64-bit. Um, I'm not going to be doing that much HD video rendering, that much you know, photo manipulation, things like that. So let me type in the, the, the product key. And the key worked, which is good news. I'm going to use uh, Ask Me Later for Windows Update. Finalizing your settings. So this may actually have worked. So here we are in Windows 7. Coming up soon, we're going to have more videos about the hardware on the Asus UL30VT. We're also going to talk about how fast it is, how the performance is with the solid state drive, and some other things relating to keyboard usage and battery life and things like that. We'll be back soon with much more. That's it for now.